Hi there, I'm Matthew Lester and I work at the Rhodes Business School in Grahamstown. I'm going to be having a look at what MBAs are all about today. Do they cut the mustard? Is this a worthwhile pursuit? Join me, let's have a look. And let's go back to almost a, when I was, let's go back to almost when I was born and the celebrity economist of the time, Milton Friedman. And he wrote a book, Capital and Freedom, and he said the best economic climate in which a business can exist is privatized and deregulated. He says this increases competition and quality and reduces prices. Oh, that's all very nice to think as an ideal, but did it work? Friedman went on and he said there is one and only one social responsibility of business, and that's to use its resources and apply its activities to increase its profits. Let's be fair, he went on to say that you must do that without deception or fraud, but did it get us anywhere? Well, there were some that were great admirers of Milton Friedman. Reagan and Thatcher are a good example. But if you want to see the collateral damage to some of Friedman's policies, have a look at movies like Billy Elliot and the Four Monty. It didn't work always. Then, post the new millennium, we had the Enron debacle. The financial crisis was precipitated by the disasters in Lehman Brothers. And still today we have massive questions over the tax affairs of eBay, Starbucks and others. What's going on? Well, under Friedman we had shareholders who owned companies and that was about the relationship. Now we're going a little bit differently and we're bringing in a new class of person, the stakeholder, and what they're supposed to get. They're not the owners of a company, rather they are society. And they're expecting that business is fair in the way that it conducts its business. So an elephant doesn't own a company. But he'd like to take a sip out of the executive's pool every now and again without anybody shooting him.